Good morning. It's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Y'all, the snow has got to go. Um, we ended up with like 12 inches of snow. <laughs> it was still snowing this morning. It stopped now. And supposedly it stopped now. I had an online doctor's appointment this morning. And I got Victoria to school. They didn't delay school, which they should have. It should have been two hours late. It should have been two hours late. I got her to school and I had 15 minutes to get to my doctor, to get someplace where I could take my doctor's appointment. So I took out the parking lot of Vintage Junkie. And then Val and, and Anne Marie show up for Vintage Junkie. They must have thought, this is crazy that you're doing, sitting out in the parking lot forever. Well, I've been there for an hour. But I mean, I had an hour long doctor's appointment sitting in the parking lot. But the roads are super icy. They should have been a two hour delay, which they didn't. And then my daughter texts me. I was late for school today. Yeah, she arrived at 7.45. Her school starts at 7.46. And I'm like, I don't care. You're not tardy. The entire school was freaking tardy then. It is nasty out. People are driving like idiots. It's melting though. I mean, the chemicals are working. So by this afternoon, it's gonna be fine. But right now, I don't want to be on the roads. I just want to get home. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Everybody's shoveling out. Um, Val never made it down yesterday in the snowstorm. So she still hasn't staged Vintage Junkie. She's got work to do on that. And it's just a lot of moving stuff around for everybody. Oy vey. ready to be. I'm over this. I'm over this right now. The snow. I'm over it. I am in my spare bedroom because I woke up this morning to an Etsy sale. It's good, right? Etsy's picking up again for me. Um, it's good until it's not good. It was the item that I listed that I didn't have the box for. <laughs> This is actually a real problem, you guys. Um, it's one of these Watkins deep dish pie plates. I have a whole set of them. You guys saw me buy them at the thrift store. Um, they are wide and they are deep. And unfortunately, to safely ship this is a 12 inch by 12 inch box and at least four inches deep. I do not have a 12 by 12 inch box, four inches deep. To get them, I'd have to get them on um, Amazon and have them delivered to me. But I have to order like 25 of them. I don't need 25 of them. So I'm in a real dilemma. Um, it's real. So I avoid posting things a lot of times because I don't have the right box. Um, Obviously, I have to ship this now. So I run the risk of, because we're like, well, just put it in a different box. And if it's a little bigger, who cares? It's money. If I buy the right size boxes, A, that's going to cost me $35. Well, this sale is $36. And um, if I put it in a box that's too big for it, I'm losing profit. So the struggle's real. I'm going to have to find a box and get it shipped. I will try and cut down a box to be approximately the right size and hopefully not lose any money. But it's stressful, you know, and I don't think if you're running your own business, I don't think a lot of people think of that stuff. I've seen a lot of younger, newer vendors on TikTok and they have these beautiful, cute little boxes that they put their logo on. And I'm like, ooh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> So I have, um, I have been buying 
supplies from a sticker mule. Sticker mule. They have this stimulus program where you sign up for their email address. I will put my referral link for um, sticker mule down below if you guys do want to buy something for your business. Um, I just recently got tape with my logo on it because they had a deal on it. And I think I got like 300 yards for $13 or something like that with my logo on it. It's ridiculously cheap. So I bought it. I also bought 50 of these bubble mailers with my logo on it because they were like $19 for 50 of them. It was ridiculously cheap, but that's not the case with everything. So I went on Amazon recently and I bought a bunch of different boxes and different sizes because I was running low on the six by six boxes, seven by seven, which most of my stuff is going to fit in those boxes. I end up getting white craft paper boxes most of the time with a double wall construction. So they're nice, thick and sturdy. And then I put my logo on it with the tape or a sticker. Um, stickers are they run deals on these stickers all the time with your that you can do with your logo on it. Um, way cheaper to buy this than to have a box printed with your logo. But anyway, um, I also just recently bought, they had a deal on boxes that were my brand color, this color. Uh, so I bought a few different sizes in the turquoise blue, which then I'll also use the Peony Lane Designs tape, my logo tape on them. So it'll be brand colors. But if you're starting out, don't worry about getting, ordering boxes that are brand colors or with your logo. If you're starting out, the, the goal is to make money. You can't be spending money you don't have to buy things you don't really need or you don't know if you're going to do well at. Right? So just, you know, list it and hopefully you have the right box. I order a lot from Amazon, so I'm hoping a lot of the boxes that I have, I, I keep them. I will use, I will reuse an Amazon box to ship stuff because it's about making money. And yes, I do order the seven by sevens and the six by sixes and the eight by eights. And every time I say eight by eight, I go eight by eight, 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 eight. <laughs> oh, my winter coats I got to go through are in here, but, um, I order those because I use them the most frequently and I run out of them quickly. So I don't always have the right size Amazon box for those small sizes, but for this size, I'm hoping I have the right Amazon box or I can find one to cut down to the right size. But I guess the moral of this story is it's a real thing to not have the right box. You have to ship quickly. You have to make sure, you know, that, it's safe and protected, so it has to be the right size box. But, y'all, I hesitated for the longest time to list these because I knew I did not have the right box. And I was stressed out about shipping them because this is a hard thing to ship. Um, I've been packing and shipping things for longer than I can remember. I used to actually be an exporter, and I had to pack and ship some things, so I've learned over the years some tricks but flat lays like this if you pack it this way and it hits on something it'll crack this right in half if you don't have enough padding around it that's why it has to be at least a four inch deep box that would give me one inch of padding on each side of this and then there's still the issue of like because of this concave if it's this way, if the box gets flipped this way and they put pressure on it this way, it'll still crack. It doesn't matter how much, it doesn't matter how much padding I have on it. If, if this concave plate is this way, like if it gets upside down in the postal service system and something heavier than it gets put on top, this will crack. And there's not a darn thing I can do about it. So just be aware, you want to give yourself the best chance you can for that to make it through the postal system. They're not gentle with your packages by any mean, by any means. And if you want um, to get stuff with your logos on it and stuff like that to make your business look more professional, blah, 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 which I don't think people care. 
in all honesty. I mean, put your put your postcards and stuff in the package. That's professional. Don't worry about the packaging. They're just going to tear it open anyway. But if you do want to get them, then I'm going to put the sticker mule affiliate link below so that you can get the deal. I think, I think you get $10 free or something like that. But get signed up with them. Get the $10 free and then wait for their stimulus emails every week on Monday. They send out an email that has a deal every week, a different deal every week, whether it be the sticker package, which I, my husband does my stickers, so I haven't bought their stickers. Um, they're nice, though. They're the die cut stickers. They sent me a sample. Um, this is not a this is not a video for them, by the way, but I'm just giving you advice on like how to look professional on a budgie bougie on a budget. Bougie business on a budget. Um, you know, wait for that stimulus email to come out on Mondays from Sticker Mule. You get the deals just as the weeks progress. Like I waited and I got the tape. But I got it for cheap. I waited and I got a box of the envelopes with my logo on them. But I got them for cheap. You know, and now when I mail like the, the flat sheets that I have, the blankets that I have, whatever, they're going to go in here and they're going to have my pretty logo on them. But I pay, I paid less for those than I would just regular bubble mailers from Amazon. So when the deal comes from, from it's the email is called stimulus. The program is called stimulus. When the email comes from them, I compare it to the price that it would be to buy just a plain envelope on Amazon. Does that make sense? So Calculate your per cost of their deal and then calculate, go on to Amazon and look for the equivalent bubble mailer and see if it's cheaper and then get the ones with your logo on it because it usually is cheaper. Um, there was one deal right before Christmas that was not. <laughs> and I didn't buy any more of that. But the, they have tape with your logo on it. You could print with your logo across it. I did that. And... Um, that ended up being cheaper than buying a roll of tape from uh, Amazon. And that was just plain clear duck brand tape. So, yeah. I have not bought their stickers, though. They are nice stickers when I get them. The prices didn't look bad, but my husband does sticker printing for me for free. So free is way better. Free is way better. Did you hear my stomach, girl? I'm sorry. Just... <laughs> making rumbling noises here. I'm so hungry. I couldn't eat earlier because of my anxiety. <laughs> because of the snow. And now my stomach's like, you're home. You can eat now. <laughs> so I'm sorry if you heard that. Um, but uh, get some stickers and put them on plain boxes if you want. And even the Amazon ones, their stickers pull off really nice. Their tracking labels and stuff, you can peel them off. Put your logo over it. Y'all good to go. Get your logo sticker from Sticker Meal. And you do that. Do that. And then hopefully you have the right size box. Because inevitably, I just listed this pie plate and it sold the next day. I listed five so far because I want to get rid of all of them. And, but the one that I posted went and sold the next day. And I was like... <laughs> I freaking knew it. Now I gotta find a box. And actually, I'm looking, that box right there might be the right box. I might have to chuck everything out of this box. This is stuff that is staying in my spare bedroom somewhere. It's like recipes and stuff from my great grandma. I gotta find a home for those. But uh, yeah, that today might be the day because I think that's the right box. <laughs> I kind of got lucky. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you're the windshield. Sometimes you're the bug. Today I might be the windshield. But there's my advice on packaging and boxes. And when you're starting out, what you should spend your money on, what you shouldn't. I would go for stickers before I would go for custom boxes and tape and all that stuff. Because then you can save money on the boxes and just put your logo. And then put, put your money into the materials you put inside the box to get those postcards and stuff like that. I was asked that too. Um, I buy my postcards on Vistaprint. And this is really bad because I work for the paper 
part-time and they have a printing company, their prices were too high. I asked her for a quote right before Junk Bonanza. And she's like, so we can do that for you and all this stuff. And I'm like, it's way too expensive. So like local printing companies, I'm really sorry, local businesses, but I want to support local businesses too, but not at the cost of going out of business myself. So my marketing materials that go inside are a loss to me. I hope I get a return on that, but it it's basically going to be thrown away on the other end most of the time. 90% of the people that get it are going to throw it away because I put a coupon in every single one of them, a coupon code, and I can count on one hand how many times it's been redeemed out of all the sales I've had. 200 and some sales on Etsy and maybe six actually, so two hands. I think six people have redeemed it. One redeemed multiples. So she kept buying and she kept buying and I kept giving her the discount because heck yeah. You got a repeat customer, you let them, let them buy, let them book, you know? So, um, I would get those. I can put a Vista print link down below too. I don't, I don't know if you get a discount. I think you do. If I refer you, I could put referral links for both of those down below for sticker mule and, um, Vista print, but Vista print is all my postcards, business cards, all of that comes from Vista print. And then my, my, tapes and all that stuff I'm getting at at sticker mule. All right. Talk to you guys later. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more junkin' videos.